Coach Brown and the West Virginia staff has went and filled a need out of the transfer board. Let's talk about it. What is up, college sports fans, fellow members of Mountaineer Nation? This is Coos, and welcome in to another edition of Coos's Corner. Sit back, relax, put all your worries aside, and let me serve you up a shot of top-shelf college football content. If you like that, please hit the red subscribe button. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs-up button. And please share this out with all of your college sports-loving friends. And last but not least, please leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about the Mountaineers picking up Rashad Ajayi from Colorado State out of the transfer portal. Yes, that's right. Rashad Ajayi, he's a 5'11 defensive back. He's played all four years of his collegiate career so far at Colorado State. He came into Colorado State out of the Atlanta, Georgia area, played at Langston News High School, was a three-star recruit. Started 35 games over his career at Colorado State. And over the course of those games, he has 77 tackles, five and a half tackles for loss, one sack, one interception, which, by the way, he returned for a pick six, two forced fumbles, 17 pass breakups. He has one year of eligibility remaining and will be a grad transfer. He is the second Colorado State player that West Virginia has added to their roster via the portal. They added Brian Pelini out of the transfer portal at the tight end spot back prior to spring ball. Now, not only is, does, it, does this fill a need at the position where West Virginia needed bodies after losing Daryl Porter Jr. and Nick Troy Fortune to the portal, but he brings experience to the table because West Virginia is loaded at that position with a bunch of young guys. They have Charles Woods with some experience, but after that, it's all freshmen and sophomores. The only other player that has any really significant experience is Andrew wilson Lamp, and He only played in a handful of games last year, and he's a redshirt freshman. So this young man brings a, a, a lot of experience at the FBS level to the Mountaineers. He's played against some t- tough competition. He plays against Boise State every year. He's played several games against Power 5 competition, including games against Florida and against Arkansas, among some other Power 5 teams. He started as a true freshman at Colorado State. That shows you the level of talent he possesses. His uh, sophomore and junior years, he was plagued with some injuries and wasn't able to play the full seasons, but he came back in 2021, played a full season again in 2021. Think of Rashad Ajayi. Here's what I think of. The first word that comes to my mind, leadership. He's going to bring leadership, and here's how I know that. This young man has a LinkedIn profile. That tells me something. He is looking at his life outside of football. He has goals, aspirations, dreams outside of football that he's focusing on. He spent much of his time at Colorado State as an intern in the development office at Colorado State. On his LinkedIn profile, it says he has a four-year degree in business administration. He's seeking his communications degree. And in his bio, it says he's great at problem solving. He loves to be presented with a problem and then being given the challenge to solve that problem. And what better way, I mean, and what do you do on the football field? Pre-snap, you're solving problems. You're looking at the receiver. He's looking at the receiver he's covering. He's looking at the offense. He's looking at how they're, how they're lined up and has to decide right then, what are they running? What is it I have to do? Obviously, if he's watched a lot of film and he's good at problem solver, he can figure that out. And that's a great attribute to have for a football player. And another thing, as far as the leadership is, leadership is his strongest attribute. He loves to be the guy that other people come to when they want, when they need to ask a question or need something. He wants to be that guy. And I think that might be the one thing West Virginia needed at that position. Yes, they have Charles Woods to be a leader there. But this gives them another leader at the cornerback position in that secondary. So then they won't have to depend on as many young guys. I'm sure he's going to be able to compete for that starting spot along with Andrew Wilson Lamp. Charles Woods more than likely has the other starting position locked down already. But now we have another veteran body in that cornerback room, and I think that's great for this team. That's really what they needed. And I'm really excited about this pickup. I think it's a very underrated pickup for the Mountaineers. May not have gotten as much publicity as the JT Daniels pickup or uh, the Lynn J. Dixon pickup or some of the other ones. But I think it's huge because, A, it feels a need. And, two, he's an experienced player with leadership skills. And I think that's what they needed, especially at that position. So I think Shadon Brown got him a good one here in Rashad Ajayi. Mountaineer Nation, let me know in the comment section what you think about this pickup for the Mountaineers. And, hey, if there's any Colorado State fans out there watching, what do you think 
What are your opinions about Rashad Ajayi? What did you see out of this young man during his career playing for the Rams out west? I'd like to hear from Colorado State fans if you're watching. Please leave your thoughts in the comment section. Guys, please hit the join button right below this video. Become a member of Coos's Corner. Take advantage of the perks. Don't forget I have a merch store. If you want to buy a t-shirt, a hoodie, a ball cap, a coffee mug, a travel mug, a water bottle, a backpack, a book bag, a mouse pad, an iPhone cover, you name it, I've got it. Check it out in the merch store. The link's in the description box. Check out the Fanatics link and the Amazon link for your online shopping. Check out the BetUS link for your online betting and your online gambling. Use promo code JOIN125. You'll get twenty five percent, a 125% bonus on your first bet. If you can't do any of that and all you want to do is support me for free, you can do that in several ways by subscribing, by liking the video, by sharing it with your friends, and by leaving those comments. All of those things help me out. It's all much appreciated. And I really appreciate you tuning in and for your support. And until next time, Q Country Roads.